Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix a problem that many of us have faced. The dreaded Windows Automatic Repair not working issue. If you ever found yourself stuck in this frustrating log, fear not. Today, we will guide you through step-by-step -step solutions to get your Windows up and running smoothly again. So, let's get started. Before we jump into the solutions, let's understand what happened when you encounter the Windows Automatic Repair not working problem. This error often occurs when Windows can't start properly. It can be caused by corrupted system files, hardware issues or even software conflicts. Now let's move on how to fix this issue and get your computer back on track. Here I'll show you how to access safe mode and how it can help diagnose and fix problems. In order to continue this procedure, you should have a Windows installation media. If you don't have a Windows installation media, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Once you have the Windows installation media, insert your Windows installation media into your computer and boot from it. You might need to change the boot order in BIOS or UEFI settings to boot from the Windows installation media. When the Windows setup screen appears, then click on next and click on repair your computer. In the advanced startup options, select troubleshoot. Inside troubleshoot, choose command prompt. In the command prompt window, type the command bcd edit space for slash set space start curly braces default close curly braces space save boot space minimal and press enter. This command sets your computer to boot into safe mode the next time you restart. Now close the command prompt and restart your computer. Now it should boot into safe mode. Go to Windows search and search for Advanced System Settings. In the System Properties window, click on Advanced tab. Click on the Settings button under the Startup and Recovery section. Uncheck the box that says Automatic Restart under System Failure section. Click on OK to save your changes. This will prevent your computer from automatic restart when it encounters a system failure and allowing you to see any error messages that might help to diagnose the problem. Now go to Windows search and type msconfig and press enter. Next go to boot tab. Now uncheck the save boot option from the boot options. Next click on apply and then ok. Now just reboot once and hopefully your problem will be solved. In safe mode, open control panel. Next open program and feature. Click on view install updates. Check if there were recently updates installed. Sometimes faulty update can cause issues. If you find problematic updates, just click on uninstall button of the problematic updates and restart your computer and check if the issue is resolved. In the safe mode, right click on start button and select device manager. Check for any devices with a yellow exclamation icon that indicating a problem. Right click on those devices and select update driver or rollback driver if option is available. After updating or rolling back drivers, restart your computer to see if the problem is persist. In safe mode, go to Windows search and type Windows Memory Diagnostic. Select the corresponding result and run a memory test to check for RAM related issues.
in safe mode open the command prompt as administrator and type chkdsk space for slash safe space for slash r and press enter this will check for and attempt to automatic repair any problem that preventing windows from starting Windows has a built-in tool to automatically fix problem that prevent your computer from starting. If your computer keep restarting and you can't access Windows, let it restart for few times until you see the Windows recovery environment. You can also boot from a Windows installation media and access the repair your computer option. In the advanced data option, select troubleshoot. Click on Startup Repair. Now Windows will diagnose your PC for issues and attempt to automatic repair any problems that are preventing Windows from starting. Follow any on-screen prompts and provide any necessary information if prompted. After the repair process is complete, restart your computer and hopefully your problem will be solved. This Windows feature allows you to revert your system files and settings to an earlier point in time, solving many issues caused by recent changes. Insert your Windows installation USB into a USB port on your computer. Now restart your computer during startup and press a specific key such as F2, F12, Escape or Delete to access BIOS or UEFI settings. Once you are in the BIOS or UEFI settings, change the boot order to boot from the USB drive first. Save your changes and exit from the BIOS or UEFI settings. Your computer will boot from the Windows installation media. When the Windows setup screen appears, click on Next and click on Repair your computer. Now click on Troubleshoot. Click on System Restore. Our website will guide you through the system restore process. Click on next to proceed. Now you will see a list of available restore points. Choose a restore point that was created before the problem started occurring. After selecting a restore point, click on next. Review your choose on confirmation screen and click on finish. Windows will warn you that once started. Note, system restore can be interrupted. Click on yes to confirm. Keep patience, Windows will begin system restore process. This might take several minutes. After the process is complete, your computer will restart. Check if your issue has been resolved. Now let me share some additional tips and tricks to prevent this issue from happening in future. Regularly update your operating system and drivers because outdated software can lead to the compatibility issues causing startup problems. Be cautious about software you install because some programs might conflict with your system files leading to the error during startup. So I hope one of this method was helpful to you and remember practice is key and don't hesitate to ask for help if you need it. Please like, comment and share, we need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.